early with the historic hit. It was an ironic night, Carolyn. It was really kind of spooky, too, because it was exactly 57 years ago today that a crusty old ball player by the name of Ty Cobb decided to call it quits after collecting what seemed to be an insurmountable number of Major League hits. But tonight in Cincinnati at Riverfront Stadium, bottom of the first inning, he rose, faced San Diego's Eric Schau, and proceeded to smack him for a clean shot to left center. That gave him the brand new Major League hit record at 41.92. Rose looked like a little kid scampering around first base as his mother jumped for joy out there in the stands. Red zoner Marge Schott led the chant. And after the game, he got a call from that former baseball announcer who now sits in the White House. I've been rooting for you. And come to think of it, I used to also root for the fellow who once held that record. Well, thank you very much for taking time out of your busy schedule to call us. And uh, we really appreciate it. And you missed a good ball game tonight. Yeah, you sure did. We'll hear more from Pete later in sports as he uh, thoroughly enjoys making history tonight. That was Looked great. Like mm -hmm. Thanks, Mark. Still ahead here tonight, we'll hear the final words from Midwest Express Flight 105. Just a man saying, I can't quit now at 7,200 hits. Pete Jr.'s <laughs> on my tail. You know, the man will go on forever, and he now can be officially called the greatest hitter in baseball. Tonight in Cincinnati, 44-year-old Pete Rose finally notched that record-breaking hit number 4,192. He did it in his very first at-bat at 7.01 Central Time. Rose faced San Diego's Eric Schau and ripped him for a solid base hit into the left center field gap in front of Martinez. That set off an incredible celebration. 52,000-plus rocked Riverfront Stadium right off its foundation. Rose acknowledged those fans that he loved so much and was placed in high by his teammates. As the scoreboard lit up and showed the face of both Rose and Cobb, this is the shot of the night, though. Tough guy Rose breaking down and sobbing as he hugs his son, Pete Jr. You think that was it? No way. He went out, later tripled, scored both the Reds' runs, and ended the game in dramatic fashion right here. Tossing for the final out. He's incredible. I'm really not smart enough to come up with the words uh, uh, to show my appreciation for the fans. Uh, I, was, I was awful lonely when I was out there at first base, and uh, I really couldn't tell you what was going through my mind or going through my stomach. Uh, I, I didn't know what to do. I really didn't know what to do, and and uh, they just made me feel so good. I told uh, Perez, I said, when they was trying to get that toilet paper down, I could have jumped up and got it down for him. <laughs> he hasn't come down yet. The White Sox efforts to trade Tom Seaver to the Yankees fell through today when New York refused to part with some of the young guys the Sox wanted.